All right, we're a match. We're a game late into the YouTube record. We beat uh, Tron, which is always nice. So we want the stroke. We want the stroke. We want. We want the ceremonious rejections. Um, I don't really like fatal push, and I don't like that many stubs. I could just see not having stubborn denial on my deck at all. Maybe I should just cut all my stubs and then have some rages. Because stub only the only card that stub really hits that really matters that the other cards don't is dismember. Kolagon's command shatters an artifact, which is, you know, we're all about that. I don't think engineered explosives is any good. Yeah, I think I think this is uh, I think this is what we're gonna do. Set out a tweet. All right. So this hand is great. We don't have a discard spell, but if, besides that, this hand's very good. Map. Yep. All right. So we're definitely going to Thought Scour. This, we have a really explosive setup here because we can Angler next turn, which plays well. My opponent's got no plays. Oh, they're just they're just waiting to pop their map. That's all right. We'll fetch here, get a Watery Grave, and Thought Scour. Then we can play Angler. And I think if we draw a... Uh, a rejection or something like that, we can hold that up as well, which is pretty sweet. Okay, and that's not too bad because that's another land for our Kologon's command in case we get like Chalice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's fetch another blue black land. I think I actually want to play Double Death Shadow. Well, my opponent plays Walking Ballista. They probably don't leave Ballista in in this matchup. And the opportunity cost of playing Double Death Shadow is, like, really good. Yeah, I think if my opponent... I mean, we're going to learn here. If my opponent left um, Walking Ballista in, this isn't that great. But... If they don't have a Ballista, then we should be in pretty good shape. Either that or my opponent's going to take 8 points double dismembering this, which is fine. We got a Cavern, okay. There's the Cavern. So we get a Reality Smash. Yeah, I mean... Like, I'm playing chess and my opponents are playing checkers. Is it dismember? Yeah. That's fine. It means our angler is going to live. So this one will get Watery Grave. Or Blood Crypt, I mean, excuse me. Attack for four. And then we'll play Angler and have Disdainful Stroke up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I meant to click on the leave the whatever in there too, the Shri Wraith. Yeah, I mean, that's why these, like, <clears throat> the best deck in the format is uh, Grix's Death Shadow. The second best deck in the format is Jun Death Shadow. The third best deck in the format is. 
Esper Shadow. The fourth best deck in the format is Death Shadow, four Death Shadow, four Thoughtseize, four Street Rates, and then 50 or 48 other cards. That's why this is just like so much better. So now we're just going to attack. And then, um, well, are we going to attack? I guess we can actually force a chump block. This is 712, yeah. So they'll probably just trade with Angler. And then we can go, like, we can do nothing, actually, probably. All right, so here's the million-dollar question. I think I just fetch and pass, and I command, because I don't really want, I really just don't want to get cracked by a, by like an all is dust or a Karn, probably an all is dust, because two, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll just pass and we'll command at the end of the turn. Yeah, I mean we're just we're playing we're playing like I said, we're we're playing checkers while our or we're playing chess while our opponents are playing checkers. Okay. So now we will K command. Uh Return target creature. Destroy target artifact. Oh god, this is return target creature. Return target creature, destroy target artifact. Deter I can't even speak. And then our opponent's just in the abyss for the rest of the game. Draw like a Liliana, that would be sweet. Um, I think I'm still going to look for... I should have fetched. Um, that is better than a random card. So now I am going to fetch... Well... I guess I'll go like this again. We'll put Stroke on the bottom. Rejection. Now, if my opponent's got, my opponent's got like a, a dismember here. This is a little awkward, but then we have another Death Shadow to play afterwards. And we're going to pass. Oh, I clicked through that. Whatever. I've been messing with my stops recently, so... Okay. I kind of want a ceremonious rejection that just because we can disdainful stroke and uh and all is dust and I don't want this to go get like a Seagate records or something that can make them cast Ulamog. It's two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And like you can't take them home with you. So we might as well get rid of this. Our opponent would just be like super dead if we made optimal plays. All right, man, let's look for look for another way to kill this reality smasher. Yeah, that is how we do it. And that's all she wrote. All right, good way to start through there. Uh, I hope everyone's having a really good time. Today this is my last day. I'm out of work, flying home to Vermont tomorrow. So I figured tonight I'll do some streams, make some... Uh, Kill people with 8 8 so then maybe make some bad decisions while Cuban later.
that's what we might do. But yeah, everybody, I appreciate you guys being here. My name is Dylan Hovey. <clears throat> I'm a sponsored streamer with the Card Hoarder Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you really like what you see and want to catch all of the replays, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is linked below. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's my whole spiel. I would like to play first. And this hand is pretty good. So I got to think about my sequencing here. So if I go, I probably just go fetch land or watery grave pass. And then I think I thought scour because this is three, four, five, six. We need to hit a fetch land in order to play a fetch land or a street wraith in order to play nasty germasty on two. Breeding pool. All right, we're going to kill this because this deck can get out of control pretty quickly. And they can land like Selfless Spirit off Collected Company. And I just like don't want to deal with that. There's our fetch land. Probably just get. I'll just get Blood Crypt. One, two, three. Oh, I miscounted. No. Counting is difficult. Oh, no, we can't do anything. There's the first part of the stream. That was only five, and Dermot Angler cost six, in case anybody was wondering. But hopefully we get to play Liliana and Edict something here, which we don't. We're going to look for, see what we're looking for here. Find, like, I want to find a stub. And Inquisition is pretty good as well so let's put this on top because we can clear out like a spell color it just lets us use all of our mana here and if our opponent's got a way to remove this angler we can pick that apart or if they had like any weird counter spell here rattle change okay Yeah, so we're going to play Path, take Path, and then we're going to hold back. Um, need to get three cards away. Probably just keep one, two. Then honestly, I think the Snapcaster is probably better than the Death Shadow at this point. Oh, my opponent can't cast any cards in their hand, which is sweet. That's good for the home team. All right, we might as well... Cast this first. And then we can fetch like an island with this if we want to. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can just play another angler also. <clears throat> Which I like doing. Just put as much pressure on the board as possible. And it's going to let us not take any damage from this. So let's just get... Then I can just do all of this and then play just a tapped fetch land or tapped uh, Steam Vents. Oh, I really love Lane Wanderer, okay. We are going to win this race. This is bold from our opponent. 
I guess I can. They still can't even make a 1-1. One, one. Play this. Probably just edict them. I could take out, ditch my land, but now I can, like, if my opponent does something weird, I can flash in a Snapcaster. Just to, like, do that. I could have done that all in my main phase as well, and then gone up. All right. So I'm going to guess Liliana is actually not very good in this matchup. Um, I'm going to go with this Liliana is great. This is great. This is great. And then I like, I like Collective Brutality against any Collective Company deck. And probably want these. I think we can get rid of these Street Wraiths. 62 cards. Um, probably you don't need this dismember for slowing down. Then I can see ditching like an Inquisition. Yeah, we're gonna do this. TV. Ooh, this hand's kind of gross. I think I'm on a mulligan. Well, I've got two. I have two pieces of interaction. I'm gonna land to cast him. This is like the best card in the matchup, but this is basically a mulligan. I'm gonna ship this. I'm gonna be an adult. This hand's like no better, but I really don't want to go down to five. We'll put this on top. That's a good card. Hopefully, it doesn't get it. Like, doesn't my opponent doesn't go like land? Okay. At least it's not a mana accelerant. Let's we'll play this tapped. Pass the turn. We'll probably ditch our island to escalate it. Try to see if we can nab a company out of our opponent's deck. The problem is that also can they can just force spike me. Yeah. So maybe we don't want to do that. I mean they've got like a double stacks thing going on. I think now because of that we'll just block to give our opponent the chance to force spike this by not playing a land. We will put that on top. And then we'll play this. Ooh, that township is scary. Oh, is this like a dog skull captain? The drug talk captain will puke. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Like we are, we're getting down to teamer battle rage motor bust here. And by um, we're gonna need a death shadow too to get that going on. There's three threes too because of the ability and the the static ability, and then their pump. Jeez. Kozilek's return would be nice. So we did hit a fatal push, but this thing's got. So what can I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can't play both big delve morons. So I'm actually just gonna play angler. 
Oh, we don't have our basic anymore? Damn. Like, we're pretty much dead to anything here, but... But such is, such is life. You know, Big Daddy Angler. Oh, there we go, the Twitch alert. There. I don't want to miss it. CT to CT Deplo 21. Sorry if I butchered your name. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support here. So what do we need? We need like Kozilek's return and for us, our opponent to not have a spell caller. We didn't find either of those. So we'll ship it. CT Depla 21. CT Depla 21. I think that's close to being right, but I'm, then again, I'm sorry if it's not, but I appreciate you for your support. All right. Uh, I think I want the static caster now that we, the, the beating, the merciless beating we just took. Maybe Kologon's command's not very good. Yeah, I'm going to go with the dismembers better than the Kologon's command. I just don't really think that I'm going to be grinding as much in this matchup. And maybe if I'm not, like, grinding as much, maybe I can take out, like, a Snapcaster. Listen to you on the cards, the other, like, a podcast. Well, for the love of Christ, don't, don't text and drive, dude. I mean, I appreciate the support, but that's, like, that's not good. I think I want to bring my Liliana's back in on the play. Talk through the game as much as possible. Well, we just got murked. If that, you know, gives you any idea of what's going on. We just got murked and we're one and one going into game three against spirits and we are on the play. Yeah, we'll submit this. I like Liliana the Veil only on the play, really. In the parking lot before, before I leave. What do we got here for a starter? Yeah, man, we got some lands. We got some thought. We got Death Shadow. We got Thoughtseize. And a Collective Brutality, which is one of the best cards in this matchup. And our opponent, Mulligans. There are very few things that make me happier than when I have a Thoughtseize in my hand and my opponent, Mulligans. All right, what do they got? They've got Path, Mausoleum Wallander, Collected Company. Um, I guess I just take the Path. What do they do with their draw? So they put a card on top. I think I'm just going to take this Path, and then I'll fight through the Mausoleum Wanderer, and then get the Company before they can cast it. There's the Heath we knew about. Is the Wanderer or like a Noble Hire? Okay. Oh, God. We could just... We, this is like... We're drawing anglers like it's our job. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll count right this time. Oh, we milled over an Explosives, which kind of blows. Um, I think, again, I'm just going to get Watery Grave. Our head's like... All right, I guess we could have gotten away with Blood Crypt. Let's hope our opponent did not find a two draw or a Path to Exile. All right, opponent plays Selfless Spirit. All right, let's take a look. So I actually do want that land because it's going to make my Death Shadow big and it's going to allow us to play around the Force Spike ability for Mausoleum Wanderer. So I am going to put this on top. All 
Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Yeah, we're streaming early. We're going to play Death Shadow for a while. And then if I do well, Santa Kappa. If I do well, then we're going to we're gonna do some cube drafting. Make some bad decisions. Play cubes and people's face off. One of the sad parts about... So, like, my sponsorship has been amazing. I've been so happy to have it. And, like, it's just great. But one of the... Drug Skull Captain is, is not great. Though my opponent is going to have to chump block next turn. Um, not going to lie, there is no loss of EV from Cube Swiss Leagues. There is not. It is po it's actually positive life EV. Yeah, it's positive life EV. So I do have to probably fire off this Collective Brutality next turn to deal with this um, Collected Company. Because Collected Company on this board is just not good. I mean, it is effectively going to trade for this Mausoleum Wanderer, I guess, which kind of feels bad. Dude, you always first pick Power or Fetch Lands. Wow. This seems pretty aggressive. So now we just go, we attack our opponent, we fetch a tap land, we attack our opponent, our opponent blocks, sacks, we then Liliana Edict, but then my opponent gets to play a company. And they're going to leave this. So they're just going to leave the Drog Skull Captain behind. So we just attack with both. They take five. Edict. We can then... We Edict them. They have one creature. Or we can just attack with our Death Shadow, leave back a blocker, opponent opponent probably doesn't block, kind of a tough spot. I think there's no way around leaving my opponent with... Maybe I shouldn't have fetched last turn so that it takes two pump effects to kill me. Yeah, that was likely a mistake. So basically, I can keep my opponent with... With zero... With only the Drog Skull Captain. That's kind of like where we can be at right now. Oh, actually, what does this do? Because this does not have Hexproof. So if I just hit this, hit this, if I escalate all three modes, one, two, three, four, five, then I can play one, two, three, four, five. No, I can't. So they sack this, we attack, they then sack this. And then we lose to a pump effect. Right? That's where we're at. I don't think there's any other way to play around this besides the fact that we need to. I definitely shouldn't have fetched. Besides the fact that we need to just hope that our opponent misses a draw. The problem is, is that uh, Delirious Wave, they sack this, and they make it so we can't pay for our Brutality. This right here makes us pay two for the Brutality. In a nutshell, our opponent does only have one thing in play. So we don't, we don't like, we don't just get him here. 
right? I'm not going crazy. Hit this. They sack this. Yeah, the Mausoleum Wanderer. Then have one attack, then you gain health points. They still counter it because they're going to block that shadow, sack this. If I had an instant speed removal spell, we would be in good shape. Alas, I don't. So I guess regardless, we're attacking first. I guess I should have done it before combat, just in case they mess up. But I guess I can give my opponent the benefit of the doubt. They just let this resolve, though. Oh, wow. So now I just go Collective Brutality. Minus... I'm going to hit minus on this because there's more likely they hit two spear. Actually, no, I just... Wow. We just get it all. So let's escalate with three modes. I guess we'll hit the Wanderer. Yeah, we'll hit the Wanderer because that's just like the most... Well, no, I shouldn't hit the Wanderer because... They'll sack it and make me pay one. And then it's not countered. I guess we'll just hit this one here. I doubt they're going to be able to pump the Wanderer four times next turn. We'll leave the static caster for good measures. And they can't just sack this selfless spirit to counter it because we get uh we get to have it's still there's more than one target, so it doesn't counter it. Okay. And I think our opponent is on a no outer because of the Staticaster. But, you know, I'm no rocket scientist. I'm just a guy that is casting one mana 8 8 and is Mary. It's just Mary. All right, two and zero with the old Death Shadow. So I theoretically, I didn't really think. I guess I didn't think that line through. I don't think it matters either way, right? Like, there's no like if I'm going to assume my opponent's going to play adequately, and there's no way that we can lose that matchup. I don't lo lo win that game right there. So I think just attacking first is fine to see what our opponent does. Death's Shadow. And three draw. Confused about about what you're saying. I appreciate your ability to like sound words out though, Archmage. Like, do you do that clapping thing back in the day? I did. Because it's the only way they could teach me anything back in the day in school. Last well, seen eleven days ago playing Esper. This guy was seen 11 days ago playing... <laughs> this guy's got it made. This guy was seen 11 days ago playing the uh, Living End deck. Before it was cool. I'm going to assume he's not on the Living End deck. And even if he is, we can deal with... Uh, as foretold with these. The Rack. I don't, know, I don't know. For the love of God, I don't know why my opponent didn't draw. So these mulligan, these Lilianas are kind of mulligans. 
Uh, we're going to preserve our life total for now. So I guess we take the rack and then we take Lily. We hope that our opponent doesn't top deck a discard spell for our discard spell. And then after that, we're probably just like hanging out, not really doing anything. Yeah, we can easily ditch this Liliana. Though that Raven's Crime is going to be really good at turning this rack on. It's also going to turn on our Angler. So I played, played Swamp. They ditched Urborg. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, land seven. Okay. Now that was dumb. I should have discarded. Um, I still should have discarded my Liliana. It's nice that we drew a land there, though. And this probably goes and gets um, Watery Grave. And, like, I'm not ever snapping any of these back, so it doesn't even matter. We don't even have any left over. I'm definitely going to ditch this Liliana, I think. God, you monster. There's no way that he would play that land unless he drew a Liliana. Okay, Bontu's Last Reckoning. So, I don't even know if it's right for me to play my own Liliana or not. Because, like, if I start taking up with it, my opponent then it's like deals three to me, 12. So, four, 12, five, five, nine, six, six. Edict. Doesn't matter what I do, he keeps the rack. And then I have to deal with the rack. So I don't even think I'm going to play my Liliana or my lands. I think we're just going to like hold down the fort. I'm surprised my opponent didn't draw. Okay, my opponent just floats four mana. Oh, the lands on the tap. Okay. Alright, we're just going to keep waiting. That Bond who's last reckoning was like ugh. All right, I'm actually gonna ditch my Liliana, ditch this because these lands. If they play smallpox, these lands are gonna be important. That wrench mine was a good draw because now they can like get me down to one card. Um. I guess, again, we'll just pass. My opponent will bring back the Raven's Crime. Or not. We'll take two off of this. <laughs> That's bad. So now, like, our Kolagon's commands are going to do double duty. Oh, I shouldn't have played my land. Because so now we're going to go to eight, likely my opponent. Now we're going to go to seven. God. That Liliana was gross. Three. <coughs> Do you think about cutting? I would have the, uh, I would have the, um, whatever they are before. I can't think. Um, I should have fetched for that reason. So. We hit the rack, go to two, opponent edicts and kills us. Yeah, we're just like punished because we didn't fetch. 
Alternatively, if my opponent goes up, I can go Shock Shatter. Shatter Deal 2. I guess we're not out of it. Um, I would never go before below 8 discard spells in the Jun deck. In the main deck. It's, it's just the best cards. Opponent just didn't attack because they can't. <laughs> so now we actually got a chance. So now we fetch here, we shock the rack. No, we don't have a chance because we can't shatter. We can't shatter the rack and shock this for very long. But that's kind of like our line of play I guess we can't shatter this we can't go shock discard yeah we're just we're dead here that was my fault I got chit chatting and I messed that up we're gonna we're gonna make sure we draw in this matchup because you should always if you're playing with eight rack or against eight rack you should always draw We want this. Want this. I want the pyromancers. I don't want the creature removal. I probably can bring in like another stub and then probably a collective brutality. That's kind of it though. That Bogtu's last reckoning rip was pretty gross. I think you you can uh, so you can help supplement abrupt decay with cards like Ancient Dragrudge and Kitaki out of your sideboard. So I don't necessarily think you need you need two of them. You made it. I would like to play first. Oh, I said I was gonna mulligan. Damn it! Or keep me on the draw. I was talking about that, and it didn't happen. I'm going to go fetch a Watery Grave and Thought Seize my opponent. Because I'd like to hit a rack. My opponent has 61, the 61 card special. I knew it was happening in both games. Everyone's good at something, man. Um, I think I'm just going to take Smallpox. Smallpox is like how they get a lot of advantage. And because they have two Inquisitions, it doesn't really do a lot. Oh, there's, I clicked on the Mutal Vault. So I'd be willing to bet they take Death Shadow. But if we find, if we find some goodness, and goodness being like Thought Scour, one of Magic's greatest cards. So let's go here. To start, ooh, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll put it on top. Five, six, yeah. If we had a tasker, we could play it. But we we made the deck building decision to play an ang three anglers. I could have stubbed that. It was a bad play from our opponent. So I know that my opponent's got three lands. I'm going to get... Might as well get Steam Vents. A little Opt. We don't need a second Delver. Punished. Get this into play and hope my opponent doesn't. I mean, we can fight through a Liliana. It's not going to be easy. We don't need this. We might need this Death Shadow, actually, so we can get rid of some of these ops. And hope my opponent doesn't have a way to get this angler off the board. I've been working.
working. So I've been streaming for almost a year now, and I think that my like my speech has gotten much better. And de the describing game states and such. All right, that's good for the home team. So I'm not going to tap out for... Um, I'm going to keep this Snapcaster in play because I think one of the big ways that we lose this game is if we get our angler edicted. So I think I'm just going to like flash in um, Snapcaster at the end of the turn. Yeah, we're going to get this Snapcaster in because it's going to make it so that either my next Snapcaster is lethal. And like Colgon's command is going to kind of suck, but we're choked on mana. So it's, or not Colgon's command, uh, Bantu's Last Reckoning. I don't really know what's in my opponent's hand, but I don't really, I guess we can find out now. All right. So we want to rip a land. My opponent, I'll take some of my opponent's lands. All right, well, here goes my whole hand. They do get to turn their whole hand into spells. So they just have two swamps left in their hand. So now they ditch one of them, get my Snapcaster Mage. So the last card is the swamp. So now we'll just get in here. My opponent wants to trade in this Angler's Lethal next turn. We knew our opponent drew the Raven's Crimes, so like there's no sense in Inquisitioning. And if my opponent finds a way to deal with this Angler, as long as it's not a Liliana. If it is a Liliana... I'll be sad. It was bonkers. I didn't need a light in here. It's already getting dark in DC. Okay. Oh, do they get to draw on my turn? Oh, that's awesome. That's a good draw. We just need a land to, to play it. That Asylum Visitor was pretty big game from our opponent. Okay. Mute Vault means they're... Oh my god. That was so bad. Got a Liliana, a Gurmag Angler, and there's the land. God. Uh, this was all because I didn't fetch properly, I think. Shrieking Infection? Okay. We're going to fetch now. So we're going to go to five, six, three... And then I think this kills us because I, we can only do this once this trigger goes on the stack, but we can wait and give it a shot, give it a shot. And then still like my opponent just cracks us. Oh, that was such a disheartening game to lose. I'm sure that there's a, there was a line of play somewhere in there that I slightly missed that I could have, that I could have, you know, helped me out here. But that's all right. Because it's that, even if I draw an answer to this Mutavault, even if this works the way that I want it to, which I don't think it does, 
Like this goes in the stack, and then it resolves and I die. There's no intervening if clause. We're just going to confirm here. We're going to confirm what I think we already know. Yeah. Oh, that was sad. All right. Well, let's hope we get the 4-1 so that we can put another thing towards cube drafts tonight. I'm sure that there was some way there that I could have played that game differently to make it more efficient and because I was just one draw step away. We're an hour in. I want to do a I want to do a bunch of Death Shadow streams. Like I don't want to go. They don't want to do the five color one next and then do the S bird. But if we get like if we get doing really well, you know, we can always cube draft because cube cube is fun. I keep waffling between the fourth street wraith or not. Um, I think I'm gonna ship this hand. Double anglers already a mulligan. Yeah, this hand's much better. Looking for a land. Opponent goes to five. Jeez. Opponent goes to five against double thought seas. Yes, it was. Yep. Um. Where put that on the bottom? We've already got a push. We don't need a second push. We're looking for lands. Playing against Bant Eldrazi. Is that what we got going on here? That's exactly what we're going on. Do this first. That scour is nice. I mean, at least it's another draw to land. Well, they had their man online. Here's a matter shaper. Okay. All right. I think opt for a land. It is not the land that I want, but it is a land that I will take. So my opponent, like, thought not serious me here. I could be in a little bit of trouble. For sure. Overgrown Tomb. This is like what? Hoogland's Abzan Eldrazi shenanigans. Is that what you're going on here? So Displacer. Displacer's hard to beat. Not scour. Another thought sees, which we don't really want. The scalding turns a good draw. So let's check out what our opponent's doing. So I really don't want to go down to five. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fetch a tap land. I hope my opponent's last card isn't good. Because going down to a five against a three three is kind of rough. Especially the evolution deck that could just Eldritch Evolution into a Reality Smasher. And we can just K Command this this turn. Like make them discard a card. That's pretty good as well. I could just trade with it now and opt and look for something. And then I can return the Snapcaster or the Coldrons Command. I think that's what we're going to do. My opponent passed this, then I'm alright with that. I think that's the only removal spell they would have. We have entered this stage of the game. 
the Snapcaster Mage Colagon stage. We are officially turn five. We are in the late game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and we will block. Opponent gets a trigger. They had a temple garden. Okay. We'll put that on top. Put a little muscle into the deck. Elder Evolution, Thrag Test, Path to Exile. So I can take Thoughtseize, then I can take Path, and then I can... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I guess I can take this... I really don't want to take this... Because then this Eldritch Evolution could turn into, like... What can my opponent do? So my opponent draws two drop. It turns into a Thought Nuts here. Okay, I guess it can't turn into a Reality Smasher next turn. Which is what's most important. And then we'll Thought Scour. Then we'll play ourselves a Big Bad Death Shadow. Oh, God. That was like the best top deck. Damn it. Maybe I should have left the th Thrag Tusk and just slogged through it. I think I must have made a mistake there. Like, I'm being super results-oriented, but there must have been something there that I did wrong. I took Thrag Tusk because, like... If it lands, like if my opponent top decks a land, slogging through Thrag Tusk is going to be difficult. All right, that's a good draw. Let's hope we draw a threat. If they top deck a land, they could have. That's what we were worried about. So now we get their last card. And we get to play a Death Shadow. Put that on top. Oh, they got rid of it that way. Hmm. I guess I still just return a Snapcaster Mage. And make them discard, and then we still play... Um, we still play whatever it is, Tasker. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I get what you're saying. I was just worried about, like, getting into a position where, hang on, let me say, what do we don't want? We don't want Thoughtseize, 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 Street Wraith, and then one Thought Scour. I was just worried about getting into a position where, um, where we couldn't, uh, because, like, because of how much life total they're at, like, the death, the, uh, it's harder to get through, um, Gosh, I can't even think. It's harder to get through. Because of the life total going up so high, it's going to be hard for them to get through that with a Death Shadow. Oh, they wrote to Path. I mean, that's all right. We can now snap Colodon's command, our opponent, in their draw step. We'll just get another island, I guess. Fortunately, we don't have anything to get back because... 
So maybe I don't want to go snap color guns command. Maybe I want to go snap opt. Because, like, it's like getting one of their random cards versus getting one of my, a card of mine with a scry, which I think is better. We're just spinning our wheels, and I don't want to do that. We'll put that on top. And then no Reality Smasher, no Thought Nuts here. There's a matter of shaper, it looks like. That's annoying. Next, we just eat it. Oh, another matter shaper. It's gross. So we trade. Then hopefully we rip like a death shadow. Another Snapcaster Mage. The nice thing is we're going to have plenty of fodder to discard this Liliana. They have randomly... Yes, they do. Unless I missed that one. They had a Rupture K. No, another Path. Oh, gross. This is a Thought Nuts here. That's gross. So they still have Path in their hand. So they take our Thought Seize, which doesn't really matter. If we draw Snapcaster Mage. Or an Angler. And now I'm going to delve a lot, even though I don't have to. Because I just want to get all the bad cards. I guess we don't have, we don't even have a Tassiger anymore, right? No, so it doesn't matter. So I might as well make it so each other Gurmag Angler can get back easily. And obviously, like they know they know what we have here. So They just play land. Cash in our Liliana. Come on, find me a Snapcaster Mage. I'm over halfway to my deck and I've only seen one. Show me a Snapcaster Mage. All right, no Reality Smasher. We've got like everything else covered but Reality Smasher. All right. Poe doesn't do anything. Okay, so I drew a land, which makes sense. I guess I should get rid of this draw step stop. That's gas. Now we even got Reality Smasher covered. I don't think my opponent has a draw. At this point. Where'd my music go? Alright, you can play a Noble Hierarch. So here I might as well just attack with this because they're going to chomp. We can hold back this angler because we know that now we got everything beat but Reality Smasher. And we can only put them down to two, which means our angler is lethal next turn. But did 
Dude, everyone's good at something, man. I like to think I like to think we just we just play we play supremely in draw even. That's what I like to think. But I'm not always right. Draw a card. What do we got off the top here? We have Ale. Okay. Alright, so we want this. We want this. We want this. We don't want this. All right, one of my favorite magic quotes. Is this good? I think this is. I, don't know, I have too many cards to bring in. One of my favorite magic quotes of all time. Reed Duke was like, I've only played one game of magic perfectly. And I was playing, he was playing Miracles. And he was playing against Storm. And he was on the draw. And his Stormer player killed him on turn one. And he says he played that game perfectly. They're probably going to have a bunch of stupid Eternal Witness shenanigans going on here, which is going to suck. I'm going to cut some discard. I don't know. I don't have a strong in incentive why I'm cutting discard, but I'm going to. I don't know, horror story, to tell you the truth. I just like... Kind of like the other cards in the main deck. I don't know. I wanted access to them for sure. I don't know. Like, so the biggest problem that I have with this deck. So I play I play all the shadow decks. Every shadow deck you can imagine, I stream it. Um, I, I guess we can keep this hand. It's not super great, but we have an opt. Um, I was talking. Is that this deck, like, is very... It's not very threat decks. Like, it doesn't win games. It doesn't, like, present threats around... Um, Regularly, and Liliana is just another threat. Wow, nice! No turn one player. So, like Liliana is just another card that wins you the game. There's like really only eight ways that you win the game. Like Snapcaster Mage is cool, but it doesn't really win the game. That's annoying. Put that on top. So I think I'm actually just going to collect the Brutality of this voice, and I'm going to kick it. I'm probably going to discard this stub, because I'm going to look to take an Elder's Evolution. And then I'll give them the token, but I can play more freely. It helps against deck if you stop and e-tron. SV? What do you mean SV? Yeah, you could be right there. You know, for all I know, you are right. Like, I'm just... I just wanted... I wanted another way to win the game. And, like, you don't have that many creatures to put Rage on. Opponent's hand is stacked. Hopefully they never draw land. No, Opt is much better than this deck, I think, than Serum Visions. Which is part of the reason why I wanted the Lilianas in my deck, because you dig through less threats, but tapping out on your main phase is just so bad. Okay, so I'm definitely going to push this Noble Hierarch. And then I think I'm going to cast Death Shadow. Get this thing out of here. And get my cute little 1-1 one, one in play. Yeah, op, the, just like, your man, like, so one of the things I hated about this deck, and why I didn't pick it up for a while, was that your mana base was just way too tight. Your mana's too tight. Like, there were a lot of times, I was only playing, when I first started playing this deck, I was playing like two Snapcasters. Because your mana's just too tight. Don't path me. Come on. So, 
The most annoying card is Matter Shaver because it's going to let him kind of get back. Well, so both of these cards are pretty annoying. I'm going to assume I can deal with this card. I don't care about these yet. I think Matter Shaper is worse than Finks, though. Yeah, I like Opt. I like Opt very much more. Very more, very much. I don't even know. Opt is Opt is great for this deck. And that's why, like, but I don't think you can just play four Delve cards, four Dash Shadows with Ops. I think that you need to find some way. Excuse me. I think you need more threats in your deck. Okay, so here comes a Kitchen Finks. Or a Displacer. No, it's Kitchen Finks. So I don't know if I want to push this or not. And my my inclination is to not. Because I would love to just... I'd like to Kozilek's return it for being, like, super above the board here. So now... Let me think. How does this play out? How does this play out? We get in here, we crack for five. Opponent plays Eldrazi Displacer. Let me think. I like it. I like K Return because it's one red. That's basically the only reason. Oh, this is stupid things comes back. Alternatively. Like, we can just attack here, and if my opponent doesn't block, we just kill him. Which is kind of sweet. Come all about that life. And I think we just pass. We still we need to get to three to to kill our opponent next turn. So here comes a displacer. Oh, that's a voice. I think that's fine, right? Because let me think. So end of turn here. Let's say my opponent attacks for four. Okay, they attack for four. End of turn we go to four. End of turn we go to one. And we close Electra turn. Makes a token. The token becomes a 4 4. We deal 2 damage to the Kitchen Finks, 2 damage to the Voice. They leave. Then it's got 2 damage on each of the 4 4s. Four and then the 4 4s four die, and then there's a 1 1 token. Like, correct me if I'm wrong here. Am I insane? Because we, we, we do this, triggers. But. We can't do it end of turn, right? Because we're going to take five from this shot. So we got to do it in our main phase or in, but what well, before they do damage? Well, I guess we don't even have to do that because we, we, we don't have to get a fetch land. Because we do this end of turn. We go get an island. We go to three. Fetch to two. We get an island. The elementals come in. Four creatures. Elementals are four fours. These two dies. These become two twos with two damage on them. They die and they get a token. Yeah, so we're just gonna we're gonna kill our opponent. Pretty sure we just kill him anyways. It's 22. 22. Yeah, I mean we just kill him anyways, but whatever.
GG's. All right, one league in tonight. We got our first 4 1. Go team. All right, I'm going to go grab another beer. Oh, no, it's 3 1. 3 1, excuse me. I was going to say, that was a quick league. We'll hold off on the beer until we're, you know, new round. Might as well put the deck up here. <clears throat> I do like this list. I kind of like what it's doing. I'm not sure all the numbers are right in the sideboard. Like, I don't know about, I don't know if like my counter suite is right. Dude, shut your hole there, Farby. I don't want to listen to all of your crap. Playing Shorish. Don't recognize the name, though they are 2-0. But I was 2-0 at one point in this league, and I'm not very good. So, like, I'm not really sure that's indicative of very much. Heater. Turn 2, Death Shadow. So we're going to fetch first before we Street Wraith. Because we don't really want to draw another land. Drew another land. No moto. Oh, moto's good. Okay, here we go. So we're just 100% taking this goblin guide because we don't have an answer to it. Yeah, this is going to be a harder game to win. I find Burn to be a bit harder with this deck. I think that's under. I think that's also understandable. Like, also like, sometimes it just becomes, oh my god, fucking nasty, germasty. You are always there for me. We're gonna fetch our swamp first. Yeah, I mean, I think that's understandable. Plus, Walker's Wreck Shadow. Oh, you're talking to have those, yeah. Dick Mickle, what is going on? Man, we mulled over. We didn't mull over stubs. So I don't care about the rest of these cards. Might as well leave these. We're going to leave in this Inquisition because we might have to interact with our opponent. So my opponent draws a land, they can deal with this angler, which they did. But like that's whatever. They gotta point this lightning helix at it. It's, oh yeah, it's a searing blaze. So that means we can play Death Shadow at least and feel feel comfortable with it. Look at stubborn denial. Angler's not bad. So my opponent has nine points of burn in their hand. So we we go to let's just say for shits and gigs, we shot go to nine, fetch for a basic, go to eight. We crack our opponent for five my opponent we play angler my opponent probably boros charms me which puts me down to four nine which means angler's lethal which means we're, we're our lethal on board if they don't do something to me so we we found we found the line Oh, our basics in our hand. 
Oh, that's bad. We already fetched our basic. Oh, God, we are in trouble now. <coughs> oh, now we're super dead. We're super dead in this game, though, with Flame. We made some serious punt action there. And now we have to draw, like, running stubs. Or we don't have out. Because we don't have team or battle rage. Okay, he likes us. Okay. But rage will come in post board here. Yeah, that was a that was a super punt. Merry Christmas, the flame. This is the first thing he ever saw. I mean, we're being we're being a little results oriented, ain't we there, bud? All right. So, like if we draw a stub, do we have a chance? Houston, we don't have a chance. The, you know what messed me up is that I did play with a third basic um, two streams ago when I was playing um, when I was playing whatever it was um, the Esper Death Shadow list that Ochoa was playing I did play with four basics and it definitely screwed me up a little bit towards the end God, imagine if we had like Double stubborn denial here. How sweet that would be. All right, I gotta read this. Now I gotta do it. I even brought Aiden. Aiden, Aiden, like this is Aiden that used to play like Storm was a wicked, wicked shitter back at Gamer Craze, right? Is that who you're talking about? God, I'd love to just. Oh, opponent's going to upkeep it. All right. I mean, hopefully they draw step it. That would be sweet. I think the deck's got legs. I think that he was about... All right. I think he was... I think his deck was probably about six cards off of where it should be. But that'll be if we get into a third shadow stream tonight. That's I'm gonna play that one. My shadow's a fifteen fifteen. All right, so we want this. 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 We want to cut these. Um, probably cut my probably cut two thought seizes before we cut the dismember. There's not really anything else I like. I guess I like the Thought Seize better than the Dismember, right? I mean, that doesn't make me crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll go like this. 14 viewers. I'm glad everyone's here hanging out. My name is Dylan Hovey, and I hope everyone's just having a fantastic holiday. There's a cut dismember and maybe a Taz. Oh, we got to ship this, I think. I mean, this hand's got a team or battle rage. So, like, if we find a death shadow, we're in pretty good shape. So I'm going to keep this just because, like... Teamer Battle Rage Death Shadow gets you out of like many spots, even though we're probably gonna lose. I can see that. At least my opponent mulligan too. Like what a guy. We want lands. We're gonna go fifteen like an absolute champion.
So I think I'm going to get rid of this Eidolon. Well, six, I go to nine, basically, on the board. I still have an answer to this Eidolon. Yeah, this Eidolon is just going to be a problem. I still have an answer to it. I need to draw, like, Thought Scour into Basic Swamp. And then we got ourselves a game. Then my opponent, if my opponent then takes two burn spells to shoot my Tasker, like, we're in good shape there. Well, I need to check into my flight tomorrow. Because I would actually like to go home. Check in, continue. I hate it when you check into an airplane and it asks you like a whole bunch of things. Like, oh, did I get the last seat? Boarding pass, email. My opponent is nicely taking a break here while I get into my flight here. What? Oh, there they are right there. Okay. <laughs> no, DC is not home. Vermont is home. The greatest the greatest state in the country. That might not be right. It's probably not right, but it's my favorite. Inspiring Vantage. We suspend Rift Bolt. Yeah, that's not good. Houston, we have a problem. And we're gonna let this happen. We probably need to hit a Death Shadow like within the next draw step or two. In order to to have a to have a fighter's chance at this shot. All right. Well, that's part of what we needed. So one, two, three. We might be just flashing this this Snapcaster Major at the end of the turn here, the end of my opponent's turn, getting our little getting our two one beat stick going. No, I don't ski. I will stub this. I will stub this. Give me the opportunity. If my opponent did this, they messed up with their sequencing. I'm going to stop anything I get the chance to. Okay. Opponent decides against it. Yeah, Mike LaFlame used to just clean up back in the day in Vermont. So I'm actually going to fetch a... Probably a... Steam vent because if I play, if I get a creature down, I need the red source and I wanted the blue source to play stub. Alas, that did not happen. There's an argument uh, that we should have flashed in Death Shadow there. Or not flash, flash. I wish we could flash in Death Shadow. That card would be so much better.
pass priority. Come back here. Yeah, Ambush Shadow is way better than regular Shadow. And that's the truth. Can you guys hear the music all right? Is that all, that all going okay? How do you feel living in a political landfill now? I don't think I can handle it. I mean, it's like, it's hard, you know, like, <clears throat> there's definitely a lot of BS that goes on up here. A lot of stuff that frustrates me. So it ain't easy for sure. My opponent's playing very passively, which makes me think that they're drawing just absolute balls. Yeah, there's just like an extra amount of BS here. And the people are just insuff the people are just insufferable about the BS, which like is what really frustrates me. Give me one second, my wife's giving me a call. Yeah, so back to what I was saying, like, the, the thing that's, like, the worst thing about it down here is that everyone's just so over the top about everything. And it's, like, not, like, just nothing really, not a lot really changes. You know, just, like, just, like, live your life and be the best person that you can be. You know, and then just, like, the chips will fall. problem is defining the best you can be i don't know just be responsible help other people out be nice to people be smart with your finances like that's how you be the best that you can be in my opinion my opponent's just drawing like mono lands like what is going on over there all right that's nice we can kill that because it doesn't mean that we're going to be able to cast see another swiss spear my opponent's just been sandbagging Just in like little days, just just try to be like the best thing that you can do no matter what. Oh, there's a death shadow on top. Snapcaster mage, it's garbage. I'm gonna hit this goblin guide. I'm gonna do it with a fatal push, I think, because my opponent wants to go like bolt, bolt. I want to be able to shave that off. Well, I may agree with that worldview. Plenty of people's best they can be involves crushing people under their feet. I don't necessarily... I mean, yes, but then a lot of other people's best that they can be is, like, not applying themselves to their fullest. Like, I don't think... Like, I... I, every day... Like, I work... I get paid 40 hours a week. I usually put in, like, 50 or 55. Because that's like the best thing that I can do. I go above and beyond. And I don't think many people do that. I think a lot of people find an easier way to do those things. Okay, so once again, we'll just take this. What is my opponent doing? I don't understand. So we know they've got only, they can only have a maximum of six points of burn in their hand. So I'm going to get this Tassiger down. 
and hope my opponent doesn't have a Path to Exile as one of their last cards. So this has turned into a very weird game. If I can untap with this stub, I should be in pretty good shape. There's definitely a chance that I don't untap, though. Like, that we just don't, un like, because we're going to play this. If my opponent has Path to Exile, I guess even if they have Path to Exile Bolt Bolt as their last three cards and their draw step, we still only go to one. Free unless it's on myself. Free on my or unless it's on myself. I guess I don't understand what you mean. Like, the flame. I'm gonna opt to start out here. My man. So again, we're just going to attack with this. If my opponent goes to, okay. So what do we want to do here? Let's just do some. Let's do some siphon. So I almost think it's better because my opponent's got. They could have. They could have nine points of burn theoretically in their hand. And I think that's like. You know, I mean, that's just... I'm going to I'm gonna pass here. I don't think I want to play the Death Shadow. I think I want to hold up Stubborn Denial. And then I can play it next turn. And, like, get ready to put the nail in the coffin, I think. Alright, so this is an Eidolon. It's going to get interesting. So where is this going? I actually want to counter this. Because it's going at this, I think. Because, like, let's just think here. If we counter this, our opponent's got three cards in hand. They don't have enough burn to kill me. Because this can block. Yeah, I think I'm going to just smoke this. Because I want to be able to keep this in play. Because it keeps, like, a little bit of tensity, a little bit of stress on my opponent. Yeah, you're a blue-white control player. You, you never had a creature. The only time you've had a four-white, four-power creature that's killing them. So what can they have? How do they kill me? They kill me if each one of these spells here are lightning bolts, are three damage burn spells, and we don't keep this alive. It was bound to happen someday, the flame. One of these days we were going to make it. Okay. So now my opponent's got two, two, three damage burn spells. I'm dead. Nope, that's a good sign. This is an idol on. That's kind of gross. Okay. The fact that that wasn't a black fetch land is a little awkward. So I think I just play Death Shadow and pass. We go to five. And we're going to play this land. 
and we're going to see what happens. My opponent can idle unlock me here. Which is bad news for the home team. But if they idle unlock me, they then have to top deck and they have to block my Death Shadow. No, so my opponent's definitely got a burn spell. <coughs> I'd like to draw a Stubborn Denial. That is Snap Stub. What does Snap Stub do for me? Snap Stub just kills me, like, on the spot. To be honest, I would have attacked, and if they didn't block, cast Battle Rage. And you're saying Idle Unlock them? Oh, that's a good point, Farby. I could have Idle Unlock them. So I should be able to get one of his creatures here. Yeah, that that would have been that's interesting. I didn't I just I completely didn't see that line. That puts me to three though. But they can't cast a spell. Wow, that's you were right, Farby, for sure. I should have just idle unlocked my opponent. Tense game tight game. Yeah, no, you were you were right for sure. We're probably gonna lose this game because of that. For the same reason, maybe it was right to attack with my Tassiger. sucks <coughs> so are we killing this then dying to a lightning bolt what are we doing well I guess now we can attack with death shadow and Tassiger because my opponent then can't cast this then they cast one spell it kills us I think we just let this happen Game's weird. So now we attack with both. He chumps here, probably takes this, then attacks me for two, and then I'm dead to a lightning bolt. God, Death Shadow magic is hard.
We're just gonna play back. Check this. I guess I should have attacked with both because then I could if my I could team or battle rage one of them. So that deals four to my four to me. Yeah, I mean now we can't cast a spell. But like, such as like, I definitely tossed this game, Farby, not idle unlocking my opponent. Yeah, you were right. You were right, for sure. That sucks. We had the 4-1, like, in the bag. Now my opponent attacks. Yeah, I should have just made him have it. God, that's frustrating. Ugh.